Okay, so this one, by the title, pretty self-explanatory. Basically, we're just going to take the player that has the highest salary in every pick that we have. So I'll just sort by salary, and whoever's at the top, it's who we pick. I'm going to randomize the team here, and we get the Dallas Stars. Interesting. Okay, and I'm going to, yeah, continue, I guess. Turn off the owner mode, of course. Fantasy draft will be on. Head coach, edit lines, no jabroni, player morale. I'm just going to, mm, I'll leave it on and I'll do the meetings off because that's what I do. CPU trades, go for it. And there was one other thing I wanted to change, I believe. Uh, yes, I wanted to turn off the salary cap because, you know, it's not really going to change anything anyway, but still going to do it. Let's start this career and I, I don't know. I don't really think it makes that big of a difference what pick we get, but we'll see. We get pick number two. So basically, we're not getting Connor McDavid, who probably would be at the very top. So we're getting whoever's next, which might be a Maple Leaf. We're going to find out. I actually have no idea, so this is going to be interesting. Boom! We get Artemi Panarin. Interesting. Okay, well... There it is. The bread man. And obviously when I go for goalies, so I'm going to have to, you know, do it that way. I'll just sort by salary for goalies as well. And that's how that will be done. But I can kind of go pick a goalie whenever I want sort of thing. I'll just have to pick whichever goalie has the highest salary. So we have a left winger right now, a right winger. No, sorry, a centerman. And that's it. I kind of want to see... It's probably still a lot of goalies here. 10.5 for Carey Price. Yeah, sign me up. Brent Burns with 8. He might actually be up there. No, he is not. It is Ben. So there we go. I'm curious to see how many defense we actually end up with. Because if we don't have positions, then we don't have positions. But I'm still going to do the draft, you know, same way. And the first 20 players we pick are the first 20 players we have. So... Sort by salary, we get Skinner. 83 overall, making 9 million. That's great. That is awesome, in fact. Our next pick is going to be very close. So here we go. Who shall we receive this time? It's going to be Ryan Getzlaff. I had no idea he was making that much money. There's been a lot of games getting postponed recently in the NHL. I just saw their schedule. I think there was like 30 plus games that got rescheduled in the coming days. So... Yeah, well, I guess also the days that have passed, but yeah, it's insane. Absolutely crazy. They are, I guess, somehow navigating and making it work, but it's been a, a journey so far. Also, I don't think there's been any Canadian games that have been canceled. I could be wrong on that, but I don't think there has been. Kevin Hayes, 7.1 million, and we now have all four centers already. Isn't that tremendous? Who's at the top? It is Brent Seabrook, 78 overall. This one hurts a lot, but it's got to be done. We actually have four centers and four left wingers. That is hilarious. Okay, well, who's up next? Stasny, another center. Maybe, but who's available for goalies? Johnny Quick, 83 overall, 5.8 million. Sure, why not? Who shall we receive today? It's going to be Kreider? It is going to be Kreider. All right. Nice. Let's pick. Oh, he's actually tied with Stasny, I think, for salary there. So I really could have picked either of them anyway. But now we have another left winger. One of these lads. Going to have to play on the right side. No doubt about it. Stasny. Sure. And there you go. Welcome to the team. Probably going to get Johnson next pick. Because I'm basically just going down. And it seems like nobody's picking any of these players. So... Yeah, we're just going in the order, pretty much. Oh, we actually have a massive selection here. So this is interesting. We can take Zuccarello, who is nasty. Johnson, Stull, Ocpozo. I'm gonna. We do need defensemen, so I'm definitely going to go with the defensemen first. But I'm assuming we are probably going to end up having to draft all these guys anyway. So I don't think it's going to matter. Let's see. Ooh, okay. So no, we have Zuccarello and Erickson left. I do really want to take Zuccarello, but I also want a actual right winger. But at the same time, we could... Yeah, he's right slash left winger. So is he. So you know what? Screw it. Let's just take him. And yeah, one of them will have to play on the right side. In fact, we're probably still going to get Ocpozo because I don't really have a choice. And I don't think anybody else is drafting him with that salary and his overall. So there's a great chance he's going to be on the team 
regardless. Same with Louis Erickson. I love that for us. Will it let me keep picking left wingers or will I actually get cut off? Like I might not actually be able to take another left winger. It might get upset with me, but we'll have to see. Anyway, we currently have how many spots left? So we have two extra left wingers and one extra center. So we basically just need defensemen at this point, which we're definitely going to have forwards playing defense. Will I be able to pick him? Yes, I can. Louis Erickson played for Dallas at some point. Did he not? Am I crazy? Dustin Brown, we're actually getting a player who is listed as a right winger. His defense category is three and a half star. Someone has to play defense, guys. Someone's got to do it. I'm also realizing that this is our last pick and then we have all 20. So please be a defenseman. No, not so lucky. We can either pick James Neal or Travis Zajac. I'm going to take the one that is two years younger and one overall better. The real deal. He's also a right winger so that kind of helps now obviously they're gonna try to plop in some players so i'm gonna have to do the lines myself and that's gonna be irritating so i'm definitely gonna have to take a picture of the post draft screen so i can see who we drafted and that way i don't forget someone but i'm imagining because of the players we picked are all old anyway should be pretty easy to find the guys that got scratched by the computer. The draft is complete. All right, here we go. Yeah, James Neal. And then they picked Trevor Van Riemsdyk. That'd be a great one. Too bad we can't use him. So I'm going to take a screen cap of that. Make sure that that picture works. Yes, it does. All right, nice. We know who we have to put in the lineup. Great chemistry. It's good stuff. Quality. And now it's a lot of guys I got to take. Oh, they already put Kevin Hayes back here, actually. All right, and Louis Erickson is the other one. Okay, so luckily it was actually pretty simple. Um, oh, that makes it only minus two. Not bad. No, oh, that makes it only minus one. How about that? Let's put Kevin Hayes on, I guess, number one here. Oh my, I can actually get plus one chemistry with this? Okay, now we're talking. Now we are talking, my friends. Who has the best face-offs out of all these... Lads here. Okay, so it, it ooh, Paul Stasny with 86, but it's gonna be Jeff Skinner. You're going in the middle. I am perfectly content with three plus ones and a zero. That is fine by me. This obviously we can't really do much about. We're kind of screwed no matter what. So yeah, damned if you do, damned if you don't. Either way, that's what we're rocking. And at least we got Carey Price back there to kind of make up for it, and Johnny Quick as well. I don't think we're going to do so good, but you never know. So I'm going to say that Panarin does get the most points. I'll say that he gets 75. That's my guess. Jonathan Taves has 93 face-offs. Okay, you're going in the middle, bud. Wait, what? How? What? How can you even do that? Is that even legal? Great. Great game. I remember we had an issue similar to this in our Montreal GM mode, but what can you do? I'll tell you what you can do. Nothing. No, I forgot to turn off injuries and Carey Price got injured in the preseason. Hopefully it's not bad. Really hoping it's a playable injury so I don't have to edit these lines again. Because I am just not down, honestly. I think everyone else should be good. Yeah, no one else. Oh, now it's back to plus one. Great job. I love this. Goalies. Yeah, it's a plus. Okay, we're good. Turn injuries off. We are mint. Also, side note, Jamie Ben back on the Dallas Stars here. Three points in two games. I mean, it's only preseason, but fire me up. We're also 2-0. and oh. Not a big deal. Okay, the official season gets underway now. I, I'm i not going to say we make playoffs. I'm going to say we get maybe 37 wins. And like I said, 75 points out of Panarin, who will be the leader. I don't know if I'll be right. You guys can try guessing too, just because why not? It's fun to try and see if you get it right. But yeah, that's that's my guesses. Okay, we're actually 3-0. and Can't wait to come crashing back down to earth. Probably. I would imagine that's going to happen. All right, here we Yeah, that's more like it. Well... Another win. 9-12-0. We really did come crashing down after what was a fairly decent start. I mean, this is more so what I expected, though. I don't know. I don't think we're even going to end up with 37 wins, but I can change my estimate now. We will just have to stick it out and, I don't know, knowing, like I said, the simulation engine in this game, what's going to end up happening is we're going to be crap up to the trade deadline, and then all of a sudden we're going to turn up the Jets after because that is just how it works. Maybe we aren't waiting for the trade deadline. We kind of pulled it back here. 23, 25, and 1. Definitely still not making the playoffs, but I mean, we're getting somewhere. Ooh. 
Stefan, Stefane, something like that. Fucali, see you later. You're no longer the coach of the Jets. If we can have the same amount of wins as regulation losses, I will consider that a win. We keep getting so close and then just can't quite do it. You know, we get within one game and then we go and lose two or three. And then we kind of start bouncing back again, get close. And then it just won't happen again. 37 wins is still a very real possibility though. So I might be onto something here. We need three more wins. We have a bunch of games left. So maybe we'll get more than 37. But perhaps not. I might actually have it here, guys. Which would be a first. I don't think I've guessed it right in a long time. How many games we got? After this one, we have... Okay, well, we only got four more now. And we only need one win. Oh, I'm not going to get it. There's no way we're losing the last three. No shot. Oh? Come on, two games left. Do it, tank. Absolutely tank these games. Let's go! Jonathan Taves with 76 points. Unbelievable. Let's absolutely go. Let's proceed, Jonathan Tay. 76 points. 74 out of Panarin, who was a minus 15. Oh, boy. Zuccarello was 70. Ben, 68. Krejci, 68. We actually had a lot of people with a decent amount of points here. Goalies, Carey Price. I am never drafting you again, sir. Jonathan Quick did just fine. Well, I wouldn't say just fine, but he did better. His sample size is a lot smaller, but still. Carter Hart. Kind of hot. Colorado. 49 wins. Holy crap. It's almost 50 win season. That's insane. Tuka Rask on the Devils. Shesterkin with the Ducks. All right, let's go through that quick. There you go. Now, who led the league? Sydney the Kidney on the Lightning. 113 points. Steven Stamkos, the Avalanche, 109. Pasta, 109. McDavid, 106. Okay, there you go. Rantanen went back to the Colorado Avalanche there. Very interesting. Okay, well... Let's simulate the playoffs and see who wins. Who's it gonna be? It hasn't updated yet, so I don't know who's even won the first set of series. But usually it kind of updates. Okay, there we go. It's either gonna be Carolina, Boston, the Ducks, or the Avalanche. Let's see which one it's gonna be. The Mighty Ducks of Anaheim are your Stanley Cup champions. Okay, well, let's go check out the Ducks roster real quick just to see what team they did put together with this draft. So they had Marchand, they had Phil the Thrill... Brent Burns, Bo Horvat, Brock Nelson, Anders Lee, Vander Kane, Craig Smith, Charlie McAvoy, Yarn Crook. Yeah, they do have quite the team here, I must admit. Who's in net? Goalies, they've got... Oh, yeah, Igor Shesterkin. I remember seeing that. Okay. Wow. 915? What about the awards? Yeah, we know that already. Okay. Let's go to individual. So Crosby with the Art Ross in the heart. Burns gets the Norris. Pasta with the Lady Bing. Calder goes to Kirill. Marshawn gets the Smythe. Vesna goes to Tuka. Same with the Jennings. Bill Masterton goes to Yarmelson. Uh, Teal. Bacon would love this one. There you go, Bacon Country. Our Teal. It's the Jack Adams Award winner. We've got Couturier with the Selkie. Crosby with the Lindsay. And Stamkos with the Rocky Richard. Well, here is the playoff tree, if anyone's curious about that. And yeah, that was the most expensive draft. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I kind of knew it wasn't going to work out too well, but I was curious anyway. So here we are. And yeah, hopefully I at least entertained you for however long this is going to be. <laughs> and yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed, guys. That'd be sick. That'd be so sick if you could do that. You know what would be even sicker? If you could sub while you're at it. It's just, you know, two for one right there. Absolutely. As Ricky would say, get two birds stoned at once. Trailer Park Boys reference for those of you that don't know or have never seen it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will be seeing you soon.